Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In this video I am going to tell you how you communicate your RS Logix 500 to your Indosoft SCADA for the practice of your projects you want to make. So I am going to now our Indosoft SCADA version. Indosoft SCADA Lect tutorials are starting and now first of all I am going to tell you how you communicate it. So first of all I need a software which is called Configurable Virtual Serial Port. So I open it and you can see a Configurable Virtual Port are open. Now I am going to set a COM ports which is a COM port 1 and COM port 2. So I created a virtual com, com port for communications. So first of all I am going to cancel and download. Now you see my RS Logix 500 is now in running. You can see it is running. So I go and go to settings and the channel 0 data highway. I am going to select COM once and use 9600 bound and priority is known and CRC for error check. So I OK. Now you can see uh, when I OK this, so our port is created. You can see here is our port is now found. So I go to open now. I open our Windows soft and create a new project. You can see I name it RS Logix project and I name it so I transfer it to my where I select a path for my project. So I select it and OK. Now I go to Windows Embed it and Windows and Windows Control Room Light. So I Go to select Windows Lite interface and select OK. Now I create a need a width or height so I created 700 into 700 because it is small and easy. So I create it. Now you can see our RS logic is now created. Now I go to our communication, select drivers and add and remove drivers. So I need a driver so we select DF1 you can see DF1 protocol PLC2 PLC5 series so I select it now it is Ethernet I go to select on the Ethernet uh, on the DF1 protocol so I select it and you can see I OK then I need to setting it you can see how I set it and select COM port 2 because we cross over there. Select COM port 2 and bond priority is known. Select bits 8, stop bits 0 and we also select CRC. So we also select SLC 500 and then OK. So now I am going to connect and connect to COM port 0 port and advance. Now I check for 9600. OK and connect. Now it's asking me my serial port is in, in, in valid. So first of all I don't try anything which is a, a, a mistake which is it's a create a small problem that uh, it's not you going to you are not going to work. So I create a tag name is start so I start to create a tag and create it to boolean. So I boolean it and go into communication select. I create a select name is start and I addressing B column 3 slash B. Wait, what is my address? So I address B column 3 0 slash 0. Now you can see I created and I saved it. Now I saved it and then I go to graphics, create a screen, insert a screen and name it name. So I name it name and I click OK. Now our screen is created. So I press to to and save as. Now my screen is already saved in my RS Project project. So our screen is created. I am going to select the push button, select my push button and tag expression I am going to select the start and ok. Now you see my tag is selected and now I am going to run it 
to check it is coming connected or not. You can see I select and communicate it. Now I go to that and you can see the program is running and it is not now it is not now it's not that. So first of all I go to that and uh, cancel the project and also going to communication uh, I go to setting and it's my CRC8 COM port 2 and it is none I select COM port 2 here is my COM port 2 and oh it is showing that it is connected so why don't it don't display anything so I get and I select it to check it is latched oh it is latched you can see our pro program is running so I am going to create a next push button you can see it is unknown push button and create a symbol I am going to select the project symbol so you can see a uh, pilot lights I select the pilot light, select any one which I want and I am going to create a new tag you can see oh shit I am going to create an insert tag and name it stop select it to boolean ok I will create a new one and name it run select it to boolean and ok no cancel I am going to not I try that because it is now I go to communication and main driver and to stop and run now I just copy paste these are my tags you can see name it one and name it two you can see now I saved it and I go to screens which is going to be uh, I name it the uh, configuration name it is start I name it stop select stop configure and I name it stop now I, now I saved it and start on it you can see now it is blinking because we select a blink so we double, double click it and use link side so where is blink so I go and select only run and close it save it now you can see it is light and when we will stop stop light light and stop stop now you can see our project is running uh, and first of all I am going to tell you from that I go to there project name I go to stop it you can see it is not running now my target is uh, my output is not running and then I press start you can see it is running thank you very much please subscribe my channel and click the bell icons and like my videos because uh, your motivation makes me create makes me uh, makes me to make to make for videos for your learning purpose thank you very much